Are you an artist that likes to stay busy all the time, jumping from one thing to another, or do you give yourself quiet time in between? There's a really important reason for giving yourself that quiet time. And if you're interested, stay around and watch this video and I'll explain exactly why. If you like what you hear as well, don't forget to click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you're, you get to find out when I release new videos that are full of advice and tips on how to build and grow a successful art business. So my name is Amanda Heath, creator of the Thriving Artist Business School and as I said in this video I'm going to talk about balancing quiet time with time that we're being very productive and busy because as a society these days what we think is that busyness equals productivity and busyness means we must be successful. So we keep on this treadmill and we keep building, we keep creating, we keep producing, we keep pushing through because that's what we're told makes us successful and if we take our foot off the gas for a second then perhaps we're being lazy and we won't reach our goals and all those kind of things so there's a little bit of external pressure here but there's also those internal voices that we tell ourselves you know we need to keep up we need to push through we need to keep on but the truth is if we do that we get burnt out we get despondent and actually we don't give ourselves the quiet time to really listen to our intuition and what I've learned quite late in life <laughs> is that if we give ourselves periods of rest and quiet and play it allows our body obviously to restore but it allows our creativity to rekindle and all these new ideas come through but also it, you know, equally as important is it allows us the time to and the space to say, is this next step in my business right for me? Do I feel aligned with this project or where I'm going? Because when we're super busy and we're just dashing around trying to get things done, we don't have the clarity of thought and the space to know whether we're heading in the right direction. We're just literally on the hamster wheel blindly kind of running trying to get things done. So having practices like meditation, journaling, um, periods of play, just periods of quiet time and rest, um, reading, whatever it is for you that gives you space and time away from the business to allow those uh, new ideas to germinate because we're just not meant to be on go and on you know full bloom all the time it's a bit like anything in nature there's night and day there's winter and summer and we're just not meant to be constantly at it there are periods where we should be just resting restoring replenishing and it does absolutely wonders for your art business so I found that really useful when it took me until very late in life <laughs> to discover how beneficial it was to rest and to be quiet um, I'm sure there were a lot of people out there who'd say I wish she'd be a little quieter <laughs> but yeah I find it helpful and I hope you do too and if you enjoyed this and you'd like more business advice and tips, then I also have a free masterclass and it covers the four key steps to making consistent art sales. So if that sounds interesting, I'll put a link somewhere around this video and by all means register for that and check it out. It will give you loads of inspiration. And from me, that's all for now and I will see you in the next video.